He has had one of the best rushing performances of the year. Your tight ends that caught touchdown passes, but how important were they in, in that factor of running the ball so well? Um, our tight end is, is critical in our offense. You know, um, they're, big, they're an extension of our offensive line when it comes to the running game, and, and they're important to us in the pass game, and it was good for us to get them involved in the pass game. You know, because they hadn't been involved as much as I would like for them to be. And it was good for them to uh, make some catches and, and, again, to show that we have some tight ends that can do that for us. But they always been um, critical for us in the run game all season long. And um, it's great. It was really great to uh, be lining up beside uh, probably the best offensive tackle in the country and Terrell Crosby. Um, the kid is unbelievable. He's a big-time player. And um, – He's he's a war daddy. Willie, it seemed like there was a big emphasis last week on watching film as a team. Mm -hmm. Did you guys do that again yesterday? And do you foresee that being normal each week? No, we didn't do it yesterday. It was just for for me. Um, again, I just wanted to get away from uh, everything. It just I had the sense that everything was pointed towards Braxton of why we wasn't winning, and that wasn't the case. In the case we we wasn't winning because we wasn't playing well as a team, and I wanted to show our guys that I I felt like our our defense needed to see all the other guys that was making mistakes on the offense side of the ball. So our defense guys wouldn't think, well, it's just Braxton why we were not winning. They saw that it was multiple guys well, a reason why we wasn't winning. And then on the flip side, offensively too, not thinking, okay, defense is just playing well and these guys are just doing great. There's a lot of guys that so-called playing well that makes some big time mistakes for us that's killing us and they got to play better than what they're doing and it was just great to put it all out there in front of everyone you know it's and you always stress as a coach that we got to play as a team we got to do this and sometimes you can talk about it and you don't give guys any uh, specifics but that was really good for everyone to see that you know even coaches we we admit it well we could have did this better or we could have did that better but to put it all out there so everyone can see it and and know that we just all had to do a better job with ourselves, get ourselves right, and and then everything else will work out. But it, And it was great because our guys responded to it, and, and it showed them that we can win against a good football team, even without our, our best quarterback. And, um, and I was really excited about our guys being able to um, accomplish that and, and showing that they can get it done. Well, you've been linked to the Florida opening, and um, there's even a report out of Florida by a lawyer who said that you've been contacted, or at least your representation. Just care to address that? I have not been contacted by anyone. The only AD I've been contacted by is Rob Mullins, and I love that guy. You know, um, I am committed to the University of Oregon and focus on Washington, a big time game for us this week, and um, I ask our players and coaches to be focused and, and committed to that. And, and that's what I'm committed to as well. And, and you guys know how those things work better than I do, you know, but um, have not been contacted by anyone. How do you handle that stuff with your team? Do you try to address it head on with like a team meeting, kind of tell guys, hey, no, or do you just, I don't know, how do you how do you go about telling your team well, that you are I, committed? Our, our guys know uh, they can ask me anything, you know, and I'm always honest and, and real with our guys, you know, so um, um if they ask me about it, I tell them the truth, you know. But other than that, I'm same guy that I've been every every week and come to work, try to put a plan together and go out and execute it, you know. And that's what we're trying to do. We have a big time game this week with University of Washington that we need all of our focus locked into that and not anything else that's going to distract us from that. We support no cause, foreign or domestic, other than winning this week. Willie, uh, how much milk would Justin have to drink this week to play against Washington? I'm not sure. He he's he's been drinking a lot, you know, and he's he's getting better, you know. And look, we're gonna we're gonna put Justin out there when we feel like he's ready to go. We're, again, we're not gonna do anything to jeopardize him. If he's ready this week, we'll we'll play him. And if if not, then we won't, you know. But we're gonna continue to practice him and um, let him continue to get better. But we're not gonna put him out there in, in harm's way and and um, let him re-injure himself. So um, I don't know how much milk that's going to take, but um, he's been drinking it, and it's been helping, and he's healing really quick. <laughs>